Housing is one of the major factors that determines the success in any livestock production. Even if all other factors is gotten right and you get the housing wrong, you might end up losing millions of naira, well, or dollars, depending on the side of the world you are. So through the course of this series, I'll be showing and teaching you how to set up a snail farm practically, as usual, using different um, examples like how I converted this into this and this into this. Wow, right? Before we start with the big structure, which is the snail greenhouse, remember to like and subscribe to the channel to enjoy subsequent videos I'll be releasing on snail housing and to enjoy more useful content from this channel I'll be releasing on weekly basis. Let's go! You might want to grab a pen and a jotter because we are going on an adventure and you learn a lot from it. Well, what's snail greenhouse? In simple words, snail greenhouse is just a housing type used in the free range system of raising snail where you try to simulate the natural environment the snail lives in in the bush or in the forest and you plant vegetables and um, plants that the snail feeds on in the forest and you only supplement with um, formulated feeds to boost the growth of the snails and in this system you can have it plain like just in the free range system where you just plant the crops freely or you have this method the cotton square method yes the cotton square method this method is used to maximize the space as every um, cotton um, that is being laid also increases the um, square area so you can stock more in this kind of pen so to understand the purpose and how to set up this kind of system let's go back to the beginning the first step is the foundation and this is done by digging round and actually laying a block beneath the soil yes even if you are not using the block or you are using the pan or a wood for the fencing material it's best you dig round and you bury it into the soil because snails have this um, habit of digging into the soil so to stop your snails from escaping from digging it's better you actually lay the foundation so this will stop the snails from escaping Another important thing the snail pen should have is a walkway. The walkway, depending on the size of the snail pen, should be laid out in a way whereby it will be easy to navigate and access the snail pen without stepping on the snails. So in this video, you can see them pouring the concrete to make the walkway. So that's where I'll be passing through whenever I want to feed or whenever I want to carry out any management practice in the pen. So this stops me from stepping on the snails and also allows me move freely within the pen. The next step is the erection of the skeletal structure or the frame as most people call it. And this is what you'll be weaving the net around, the net that will be covering the um, greenhouse. And I advise you use the galvanized rod or any galvanized metal because this is a um, anti rust and it takes longer to spoil and it doesn't get affected by termites compared to when you use wood for your frame the next thing to do is to cover the frame and the whole greenhouse with a net and you shouldn't just use any kind of net the best type of net to use are the shaded type of net where you have the 50 percent shade the 40 percent shade the 60 percent shade the benefit of shaded net is that it reduces the amount of sunlight that penetrates inside the pen and also they are stronger than other type of nets and then they also hold and stop insects from entering into the pen also remember to fasten the net to the foundation this stops the snails from escaping and also stops predator from entering as one of the key attributes of a good snail house is that it should be predator proof at this stage, this is what the snail greenhouse should look like if it's done properly. Oh yeah, we are just starting. In the next video I'll be releasing, I'll be showing you how to set up the cutting square method and how to establish the vegetation inside. So stay tuned, like and subscribe to the channel and also let me know what you have in mind and your questions in the comment section below. See you next time. A Peace.